Today we're going to be installing the Tesla wall connector. We're going to install this near the entrance to the garage at the main garage door so that we can access it both from the rear of the vehicle when we pull the car inside as well as outside of the garage, leaving the garage door open if I want to charge outside and work in the workshop here. For the last three years since we've owned our car, we've been using a charge point 32 amp charger and this will cap out at 48 amps so it actually makes the charging process a lot faster. Now for the install location you can see that I've already got a 20 amp two gang box installed. I'll be pulling that back out because there just isn't enough room to pull our three runs of six gauge wire through this EMT and still meet the 51% fill rule. For materials today I've got a 60 amp breaker and then I've also purchased six gauge stranded THHN wire to run inside the conduit. I'll also be running some of this 12 gauge wire to add a second circuit to run a 20 amp receptacle that we currently have in the location but is going to get rewired today. For tools I've got a diagonal cutter, lineman's plier, some wire strippers and then because I'll be working in a hot box I've got uh, insulated screwdrivers both Phillips and slotted, some channel locks, and then a level that I'll be using when I bend conduit to make sure that I've got the angles that I want for the bends. And with all that said, let's get to unboxing. So in the box we've got the Tesla wall connector, some quick instruction sheets, quick instruction guide, and we've got the cable attached to it with the Tesla plug already installed. I'm going to be very careful removing this so I don't nick any of the cable. There's some printing right out here on the cover and I can't quite get the angle of that for the camera but it says thank you for accelerating the world's transition to sustainable energy in several languages. So here's a quick start guide and on the top of this is a barcode that we could use to set up the charger for the first time and program it. It also has several diagrams that show you different wiring options depending when, whether you pull the wire from the top or from the bottom and then on the left or right side. And on the side of the charger we also have the same information that we find in this label right here including the MAC address and SSID to connect it to the wireless network. So I think this little plastic piece was here to help pull this out from the back but actually if you look here from the knockout plugs it is a completely separate unit at that point. We can see the inside of this has a gasket to seal it so it is suitable for installation outside if you have the right type of wiring and connectors. Our install is going to be inside today. Other than that it's very simple we've got three connectors here uh, load one, load two and then a ground. So we're going to use load one and load two right here off the 60 amp breaker and then the ground will run to the ground inside our breaker box here in the garage. We also have a little packet with some hardware and so there are two screws to install this bracket to the wall. We'll need to install it on something solid like a stud uh, behind the wall. I'm not going to use wall anchors with this installation. It comes with this bit for your driver that's got a rounded hex head and that looks like that'll fit right into these. Uh, so we'll use that in our tool to help finish the install. And for the final thing we have this wire tie which we could use to tidy up the wires inside the box. As I mentioned before the wall connector will be installed right here so my intention is to convert this double gang box over to a single gang. That will allow enough space inside the box to pass my six gauge wires through the box into a short piece of three quarter inch conduit and then mount it on the wall right down below. So if we look at the diagram for the wall connector that Tesla's provided, it gives me one of four different options. The bottom two would be pulling the wire from the rear of the box. So that would be 
to knock out these holes right here and run it straight out through the wall. Neither of those options are what I'm doing. This option is to remove this plug from the bottom and feed the cable up from here. But the option that I'm going to be using is right here in the top where the cable will come down from the top. So I'll be removing this plug right here and I'll be pre-drilling the center holes in this box. And to do that, I'm going to use a 3 16 inch bit, which is also a five millimeter bit. All right, so now that we've got the wall connector all hooked up and the circuit's energized, ready to commission the wall connector using the Tesla app. Uh, that's pretty straightforward. There's a barcode on the front. We're going to scan that and then let the app walk us through the process. You're going through software update right now. Um, we've got the installation set up for a 60 amp breaker in the United States. We've got the green flash showing that we're charging. And if we go inside the vehicle, so you can see right here, we've got 11 kilowatts charge rate. Uh, we're showing 48 amps, 233 volts. So I brought this up just to show on the solar converter how the amp draw compares to what we're seeing here on the screen. So currently I've got it set at 42 amps. The max that it's capable of is 48 amps with this charger. If I crank it right up to 48 amps, uh, once it updates the car and I see 48 out of 48 show here, you should see this kilowatt jump up to close to 12. And here we can see it increasing right here. All right guys, well that's gonna wrap it up for this install. Love to tell you that it was super easy, but that wire pull was pretty darn difficult. Now if you found value in the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. Vielen Dank, dass Sie den weltweiten Bundle zu nachhaltiger Energie beschleunigen. I don't know if I even said that right, but I tried.